I'm Chris Shattuck and this is more CSS updates and troubleshooting text formats. In this chapter, we complete our general template changes by modifying the look of the footer with CSS, and then we begin the process of enabling site editors to embed images in content. We wrapped up the last chapter by adjusting the main menu in our basic template that shows up on every page. We removed some of the background and changed the font size. And now to complete our template changes, we need to adjust the footer. Let's go ahead and jump to the mock-up to see what our footer looks like. Okay, so in the footer, we have a background that looks like it's kind of rocky, and we have this image asset inside of our images folder, inside of our resource pack. And then on our site, things look a little bit different. There seems to be some extra padding throughout the footer area, and there's also this line that goes across the top. So we need to remove both the line and cut down the padding a bit so that this menu shows up a little closer to the edge where the footer begins. Okay, so the approach that we're going to take should be pretty familiar to you by now. We're going to use the Firebug plugin for Firefox in order to inspect this footer area and find out what styles are being applied and what adjustments we can make to it to get the styling that we want. So let's go ahead and inspect the footer. I'm going to right click on the general area around the menu and select inspect element in the context menu. And this will open up Firebug in the lower portion of the screen. I'm going to scroll down so that we can see our footer and as we make changes to it, see them occur. Right now I'm hovering over the div class equals content and you can see as we hover over it, that you see a blue bar around the box that is the div itself, and you see some purple bars towards the top and the bottom of it. The purple indicates padding, so this says that around this div we're creating some padding between it and some other elements. And if we look at the styles over here on the right hand side, we see that there's some padding showing up at the top and bottom, 0.5 EMs. Now this padding looks pretty minimal, so it's, this isn't the padding or margin that we need to modify in the CSS. So what we can do is then hover over the various containing divs, and you see as I'm doing this, as I'm moving the mouse cursor between the divs, we see that some yellow and some purple are showing up for various areas. Now the purple is the padding, and when we see yellow, that's margin. So as we move up, it looks like we could remove the margin from the region footer area right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select this element to show the styles and it says here, the footer and then a region within the footer has a margin top of 20 pixels. So let's go ahead and click the circle cross next to the margin top in order to remove that margin and see if that does anything. Okay, that bumps it up a little bit now, we're about to make edits to several different selectors, so as we do this, it would be a good idea to keep track of what we're doing inside of a document. So I'm going to open up a document. I'm going to clear out whatever content is there, and I'm going to copy the selector that we're working with right now, which is footer, the footer ID, and then the region class within that. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the document and add opening and closing brackets. And as I mentioned before, we can't simply disable a style inside of a CSS file like we can in Firebug here. What we need to do instead, and I'm clicking the circle cross in order to re-enable this style, is to add a new style that overrides it. So what I'm going to do is set this margin top to 0 pixels and see if that does the trick. Okay, it bumps it up a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy the text of this style here. I'm selecting it selecting copy, then I'm going to paste it in the document here. Okay, so there's a good first step. Now we still have this border over the top, so let's see if we can get that removed. So as I move my cursor up another element here, we see that there's some margin for this div, which has the ID of footer, and this also looks like it's probably where the border is happening as well. So let's go ahead and click this element in the left-hand box to select it and to see the styles for it. 
And then here we see under footer, the ID footer, we have a border top here of one pixel. So let's go ahead and disable that and see if that removes the border. Okay, it does. And it looks like there's also some margin at the top here. So let's try disabling that. And when we do that, we get something that looks pretty close to our mock-up. Let's go ahead and jump to the mock-up and see if the padding is about right here. Okay, we see down here we got an even spacing above and below the navigation. I'm going to jump back to the browser. And it looks about right here too. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy these styles into our document in order to make sure we don't lose track of what we did. So what I'm going to do is copy this selector here. And I'm going to jump back to the document. We're going to add the selector and opening and closing bracket. And then we're removing the border and we're removing the top margin. So let's go ahead and set the border property to zero pixels. And let's set the margin top to zero pixels as well.